Brent Tech here. Quick Tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know that Microsoft has recently announced that it has released its direct storage APR for PC game developers, which was announced on the DirectX developer blog um, on the 14th of March, where Microsoft says starting today, that's the 14th, Windows games can ship with direct storage. This public SDK release begins a new era of fast load times and detailed worlds in PC games by allowing developers to more fully utilize the speed of the latest storage devices, which means now that developers can make their games now compatible with the new APR. Now, if you're wondering what direct storage is, just in case you were unaware, a very simple um, description would be that it's a storage APR for DirectX 12, which will um, make your uh, games load a lot faster. So your fa your loading times on your games will be a lot faster. And also it m makes the graphics card, your GPU, do a lot more of the work, which then uh, takes a lot of the load and burden of, of your CPU, your central processing unit, which means because of that, you will get um, better and faster loading screens. Um, your games will render a lot faster. You will get better animations and better visuals. Now, Microsoft has said that it is also, the API is also compatible with Windows 10, but they are um, uh, pushing um, um, the Windows 11 operating system, saying that it will run better on Windows 11, especially if you have a NVMe SSD and a graphics card that supports DirectX 12 with Shader Model 6. And... Uh, um, um, this also means, though, that in the future, though, that the game itself, though, will actually need to support direct storage. So if the game doesn't support direct storage, you're not going to get any of these new benefits and features. Now, um, a lot of the older games weren't updated to support DirectX 12. So it might take some time before games in the future get access to the new benefits of the direct storage and if we just go back to that announcement, if we click on the announcement blog, this will give you um, a whole lot more information, which what I've just quickly summarized for you quickly in this video regarding direct storage and what it's going to do when it comes to your PC. And I will leave a link down below to this post as you can get a lot more information, as mentioned, regarding the new direct storage API, which is now available for PC game developers. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.